Hi guys, nice to see you. My name is Natalie. I'm a criminal defense attorney. Hope everybody's doing well, staying safe during the pandemic. And this is my reaction to police fails. Police fails five times walk of shame. No ID without PC is the name of this video. I have not seen this video before. I'm only choosing it because it looks like it's happening in the US and the video is only 10 minutes long. Oh, and also because I've been doing things on like sovereign citizens and pro se defendants and I don't wanna be unfair and just, you know, in the criminal justice system, we can all fail, right? Uh, the attorneys fail, the defendants fail, the prosecutor fails, the defense attorney fails, the judge can fail, you know, the cop can fail. So I wanna just kinda of show this, this is how we learn, you know, from people's mistakes. So let's look at police fail. Don't take it personally, guys, don't take it personally. I'm just looking. Okay. okay. Oh, okay, so the person that's recording looks like they're a civilian and it looks like they're inside of a police station. Oh, there you go. Good. Yeah, the form? You were complaining for Yeah. Who, who are you complaining with? What's that's that, what's that matter? Okay, so this person is coming in, I have such a problem with this. This guy is coming in to uh, file a complaint and they're asking who he's complaining on. That really shouldn't be any of their concern. They should just give him a complaint form. So we're already off on a bad foot here. Okay, but we have a procedure. Well, I no, a just form. give him the complaint form. form. None of your business. PD. And a lot of the times people want to complain, they want to make it anonymous. They don't want to like have their information out there. So. Okay, let's not do that. Is he gonna give him a complaint for him? You know, one time my brother went to go make a complaint on a police officer who arrested him after he got ripped off by his cab cabbie and they arrested him for trying to file a complaint. So I'm always a little wary about these police complaint things. Beautiful water feature. I don't know what that means. Um, okay. First Amendment finger? What does he mean by that? Oh, so they're not allowed to do it anonymously. Okay. Some places do allow you to do them anonymously. If you want it to go anywhere. Hold on. No. Sir, what is your name? Sorry, please. Pardon, feces? Yes. Okay, and uh, your ID number? Your ID number? No. You're telling me that you cannot fill out a complaint form anonymously. Or are they just uh, civilians? Okay, thanks. That's, he didn't say, he said duty desk, D-U-T-Y desk. This guy's interesting with the First Amendment finger thing. What's that all about? Okay. What's going on here? I'm so confused as to what ha what's happening. Okay. 
What's going on? What's the fail? He got the complaint form. Okay. So he's recording police officers as they leave the station, I guess. I guess. What's going on? No lights yet. I don't get it. What's the confrontation? Uh, okay. He didn't say boy. He said, "Come here." Says who? Why? Why are you putting boy there? <laughs> why? What are you talking about? What's your ID? What are you talking about? Why? Talking about? I want to see your ID. What are you talking about? No, 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 no. Why do you want to see his ID? Why do you want to see his ID? Ah, uh -uh, no, no, what are you doing? Sir, no. Well, first of all, you're in a public space. So when you're in a public space, you have no expectation of privacy and you can be filmed. That goes for anywhere in the United States of America. That's what allows the press and the media, the paparazzi to operate is under the First Amendment, you can be filmed in, the pub in a public space. So I don't know what he's talking about. And you cannot grab a civilian's camera just because you don't like that they're filming you. We have the right to film police everywhere. Can the answer? Yeah. Because it's... Turn that down. Yeah. Ready? This guy, this guy. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, we're in agreement. I think this guy's a little kooky, right? Um, and maybe provoking this officer, but you know, Sorry about a privilege to allow you to go down to a police station and start poking at police officers, but nothing he's done so far has been illegal. And who's this other guy that's filming that has provided him with like this second shot of camera? It looks like they went down there to provoke something, but they are within their legal rights. Like it doesn't matter. They haven't done anything wrong so far. The rights of the public are coexistent with the rights of the press. Yeah. So we have the right to record. So like I said, under the First Amendment, the press have the right to record in public places. And so do, do the people, right? The press don't have a greater freedom than the people. So yes, you have the, um, the co-right of the press uh, to record people in public. From public view. You can't come in here. Did you hear what I said? Yes, you can. Because it's law. You want to tell me that you don't want me to? That's something else. Okay. That doesn't matter. The law? No, you don't have the right to get his ID. Yep. So are officers in order to, you know, detain you and look at your ID and stuff like that? First of all, in order to stop you, they have to have reasonable, articulable suspicion that um, criminal activity is afoot. In order to detain you further, they have to have probable cause. You know, and so, especially for someone on, on foot, there's more of a protection for them because they're not operating a motor vehicle. Unlike when you're operating a car, you don't have an automatic obligation to give your ID up. And this guy hasn't done anything wrong, nothing criminal, nothing even suspect, suspected to be criminal in order for the officer to get his ID at this point. So I think you should just leave him alone. Probably cause of a crime. Do you know the laws of the, uh, of the state of California? Ask for your ID. No. You can ask all you want. Yeah, go ahead and ask me. But he your doesn't ID have to know. give it to you. What's your name? None of your business. Yeah, well, this guy has his facts right. Next question? Got a question? Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the next question? What's your name? Oh, he's, He doesn't he's, have prob. Okay, and like this guy said, it depends on state to state if they need probable cause or RAS in order to ask for your ID for, an, for a pedestrian. But either way, he doesn't have anything because this guy has the right to... Nothing that he's been able to articulate so far. This guy has the right to film in public. That's I mispronounced it before. Okay. Decent. Anything else? No. Nope. All right, leave him alone. You're Bye. Dismissed. You're dismissed. Okay. You're dismissed. Oh. You won't be sitting around here videotaping our vehicles. He won't. has every right to. Excuse me? Excuse you me? should put them in an enclosed parking space if you don't want them to be open to the public. It's open to the public, right? Yeah. Not behind those gates, it's not open. Yes, it is. It's in public view. 
Just like if I put a sack of, a huge sack of cocaine on my, uh, on my front lawn, like if I just put it right there, that's my private property, but it's in public view. The police can now um, come onto my property and seize it because it's in public view. So your car is in public view. They can just take a picture of it. The police can take a picture of my cocaine on my front lawn from the, the public uh, area and then go apply for a search warrant if they want to. But it's in public view. So I don't know. They don't have any expectation of privacy to their vehicles being filmed if they leave them in public view. Yeah. You can't trespass your eyes. That's a great way to put it. It's a public space. Yeah. I agree. These guys might be a little kooky or whatever, but they're totally within their rights. And it's people like this. I always say, you know, you might have your issues with people that uh, commit criminal offenses, allegedly, or maybe a little bit different or uh, a little bit different from the social norm. But those are the people that set the standards for our rights, right? Those are the people that because of them, we have such clearly defined Fourth and Fifth and Sixth Amendment rights and First Amendment rights. The people that push back on society. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. That's law. I don't care about your preference. I don't care if it worries you. I think you know the law, but oh no. No, he absolutely knows what he's talking about. Yeah. Yeah, Does this cop have like a job? Like, are there no crimes where he lives? Is this a place that is over police? They don't have a lot of crime. So he can just waste his day talking to kooky guys standing outside the police station. Like, this is a total waste of time. Go patrol. Go respond to calls. Like, go do a job. Like, this is not work. You know, he's wasting taxpayer dollars at this point. But do you have a probable cause of a crime? No. Do you want my ID? No, I don't need that. Okay. You no, you that. don't. You're just mistook. Okay, I'll keep walking in circles then. You can do whatever you want. All right, see ya. Yes, he can. That was fun. Um, and a waste of time. <laughs> okay, so I see what he means by police fails five times. Um, yeah, so that's my reaction to a police fail uh, and a great illustration of why you should not, you know, talk to the police. Don't give your ID to the police. Unless they can articulate to you the reason that they're stopping you, then there's no reason for you to give them your ID. Now, like I said, a traffic stop is different. And you're, when you're stopped in a vehicle, you can ask the officer why they stopped you, broken taillight, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But it can't just be for nothing. Um, and you have an obligation if you're legally stopped to provide your driver's license. But that doesn't apply to people that are on foot. You have an expectation of privacy, just being able to walk about and mind your business. And filming from a public area, something that is within public view, is not reasonable, articulable suspicion that criminal activity is afoot, nor is it probable cause to justify the officer detaining this guy and getting his identification. So it was a really great example of those. And um, yeah, fun, good stuff. Um, yeah, we can all fail, right? There's lawyer fails, judge fails police fails and citizen fails like it happens and here we are this is a serious police fail he completely wasted taxpayer dollars with this anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments below and i'll see you in the next video bye